in the middle of doing a valve stem job on this N55 cylinder head and um, it presents a lot of challenge for getting at the valves so I just want to show you what I did and what I came up with uh, to do this job with the head in the car um, it's definitely not the best way to do this but it worked for me and um, I was able to get everything done um, doing it this way so as you can see I used the, the old school method of shoving some rope down in the cylinder and then uh, winding the crank until um, piston came up and uh, to keep the uh, valves from dropping down into the cylinder and what I've done here is I've taken a generic um, overhead valve spring removal tool and cut it at least this long rod um, so that I could run it um, horizontal or vertical or up and down rather than left and right uh, or side to side um, you know, normally it would run across the whole cylinder head, but um, it just worked out a lot easier to do it this way because, as you can see, this, this engine's tucked into the um, chassis uh, really well into the engine bay here. And the first two cylinders, I was able to um, get leverage on the handle to use it um, side to side. And then as I got to cylinder three, four, five, and six, um, there just wasn't enough room to work this way. So what I did was I worked this way. Um, as you can see, now I can leverage the handle and get down at that, that um, valve spring. Um, most important thing here is getting the angle right on this, uh, this arm so that you press the spring down evenly. Otherwise, you put stress um, at an angle on, on the valve stem and you can't get the keepers out. And that's just grease that I used to keep the um, keepers in place but so I cut this rod horizontally I used some some uh, some reuse some of the stock bolts to bolt this down this frame down and this worked perfectly fine to get at all of the remaining exhaust valves um, as you can see here I'm using a pair of vice grips to keep the rod from falling through because uh, I did cut it a little bit too short I, if I had kept it longer I could probably cut have um, just let it rest against the chassis here but then it makes it harder to get past the bridge the Valtronic bridge so um, I just used device grips to keep this this rod in place from falling out out of this side and what I did on this side is I put a nut to um, make this side a little bit higher see how this rod runs at an angle um, and I actually put this side in the top hole the side in the middle hole to give the the um, arm some angle to match the angle of the valves because these valves um, enter the combustion chamber at a precise angle to create a swirl pattern and uh, really get a good stratified mixture in, in the cylinder. So you got to match the angle to the valve spring angle to again get even pressure down on it so that you can get the keepers out and then release the tension without causing the keepers to shoot across the room. Um, it took me a little bit to figure out the right uh, setup, but uh, once I got that down and how to use this and how to set it up and bolt it down, uh, this job went pretty quickly and this worked really well. So hopefully this helps if you ever have to do this. Um, I hope for your sake that you don't. Um, and one thing else I want to mention is that at this point what I've done is um, I've gone under the car and undone the two transmission bushings and jacked up the transmission so that the rear of the engine tilts forward. Otherwise, this sits closer to the firewall. You see how there's a lot of space back here? Um, otherwise, this the block pretty much sits right on the firewall here, and then you have less angles to work at getting these bolts on. And it, it also helps with the valve cover coming on and off without having to remove the whole um, windshield wiper, whatever you want to call this, uh, cover. So um, that's all I got. Hopefully these tips helped you out. And um, hopefully you never have to do this with the cylinder head in the car. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.